So let's see how a meeting might go. We're going to be joined by Carmen Vasquez as Senator Vasquez, as well as Mo George, lead organizer here at the Pride Agenda. Thank you, Senator, for meeting with us today. We're, we're very excited to meet with you and to talk about marriage equality and why it's an important issue. We have some great stories for you that we want you to hear. Marriage equality. Yeah, uh, protecting uh, same-sex couples uh, mm -hmm. with the ability to marry. Yeah, well, uh, let's start by, like, my issue is my partner passed a little while ago, and I didn't have... Whoa, 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 wait. Who are you people? Oh, I'm sorry, we oh, didn't I'm introduce sorry. ourselves. Sorry. Uh, I'm Ross Levi, I live in Schenectady, I'm a constituent of yours. Hi, I'm Nora Yates, I live in Glenville. And I'm Monique George, I live in Albany. Mm -hmm. Good, thank you for coming today. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for Thanks. making the time. Thank you. And uh, what I was saying is that my partner passed uh, Well, do you recently. want me to tell the, um, the story about my kids and protecting my kids first, or do you want to go? Well, no, you go. You sure? You sure? You yeah, no, you go. Go ahead. Sure. No, no, no. All right. So I just uh, wanted to tell my story about how my, um, wh ever since we adopted our two kids, we've had to bring birth certificates and uh, our marriage license and our health care proxy with us everywhere we go. And when we went on vacation last year to Maine, we were really concerned about traveling out of state because we didn't know what protections they would have and if we would put our kids in jeopardy. And my issue is that my uh, partner passed a while ago, and it's been a real financial hardship, uh, whereas if we were married, I would be able, eligible to receive some of her, uh, still receive her disability uh, benefits, and, and it's, it's really been really terrible. Yeah, it's kind of, it's been hard. Yeah. Yeah. And so those are our stories. Thank you very much for coming in and telling your stories. Uh, this will be very helpful to me as I try and make decisions on these matters. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and we really think you should also support the trans transgender bill. Excuse me? Uh, the transgender non-discrimination bill. It's a good bill that we also think Absolutely. we should support. Yeah, we think it's important. All right, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming today. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. So how do you think that went? It probably could have gone a little bit better. One thing to think about is preparation. And in preparing, there's a couple different roles that the Pride Agenda recommends designating ahead of time. One of those is the facilitator, and the facilitator keeps the meeting on track and makes sure that the ask is in. Keeping the meeting on track means not allowing too much chit-chat or making sure that you get a commitment from the legislator at the end of the meeting. There's also the issue giver or the fact giver, which gives those data or that information that can give some context to the issue you're talking about. Then there's also the storytellers. You want to designate at least one to two people who are storytellers and make sure that they have between, you know, a minute each to tell their compelling story. And then there's the note taker, which is a vital role in order to make sure that we get on paper any commitments or any next steps to follow up with the legislator on that issue. So let's see how a meeting would go with some more preparation and some detailed roles with folks in the meeting. Hi, thank you for meeting with us today. I'm Mo George. I'm from Albany. Hi, I'm Nora Yates. I'm from Glenville. And I'm Ross Levi from Schenectady. I'm a constituent. Oh, thank you, Senator Vasquez. Great. Yes. We're here today to talk to you about two issues, um, marriage equality for same-sex couples and uh, transgender discrimination. Mm -hmm. And Ross has a couple of issues he needs to We're going to start by talking about marriage equality. Uh, I don't know if you know, Senator, but there are literally 1,500 rights and responsibilities that come with marriage. When a couple says, I do, they get some very important protections for their families, like uh, Social Security, uh, the ability to make medical decisions for each other, inheritance, and same-sex couples can't access these things because they don't have the right to marry. And Senator, one of the examples of the rights and responsibilities that come with marriage actually affected our family. When we adopted our two kids, we had to bring with us our birth certificate, all their birth certificates, their health care proxies, the living wills. And when we went on vacation last year, it was really a stressful situation because we didn't know what would happen if we crossed state lines, whether we'd be able to make medical decisions for our kids or if, God forbid, something happened to one of our children and our parenting and the fact that we're the parents came into question. So it's really about protecting not just ourselves and our relationship, but our family and our security. And our second issue is transgender discrimination and uh, how that is affecting our community. 
Uh, because, Senator, here in New York, it's perfectly legal to fire somebody from their job or evict them from their apartment or not even deny them service in a restaurant. Didn't that, didn't that get covered in the other, in the sexual orientation? No, the Sexual Orientation Non-Discrimination Act addressed sexual orientation. This is about gender identity expression, about the way people express their masculinity or their femininity. Mm. So if their boss thinks somebody doesn't act masculine enough, they could fire them. Uh, or if a landlord thinks that you're too effeminate, they could kick you out. Um, and this is a law that would address that. And actually one of the examples that Ross just mentioned was a friend of mine was actually denied uh, after she transitioned to become a woman, uh, was kicked out of her apartment and was homeless on the streets for a long time. She actually lost her family and because she was homeless she lost her job. And so she's had a long road coming back from that. But that uh, kind of discrimination is illegal and should be illegal here in New York State. So, Senator, as you see, both of these issues are equally important. So, can we count on your support on them? Well, you know, I really uh, believe strongly that no one should be discriminated against. Mm -hmm. uh, things like what happened to this individual should not happen. And, uh, and so I really want to think more about the transgender piece. But i I got to tell you, the marriage thing is more difficult. I, it is for me personally. And in my district, I'm not convinced that this is something that my constituents are really going to be able to support. So I'm going to need more time. Can we bring more folks in to talk with you about how important this is in the Capital District? Sure. And so uh, we'd like to be able to follow up with you in a couple of weeks to see where you are on either of these issues and to talk about next steps. Is there somebody in your office we should call? Yes, call my aide, Josh, and he'll be happy to arrange something. I think I'd like also to meet with your friend. Great, that would be great. We'd love to Definitely. do that, that sounds great. Definitely, thanks. All right. Thanks for meeting with thanks us. Thanks for having your time. Thank you. See how much better that was? We were able to get out both our issues in a way the legislator could understand. We covered the head part of the meeting with facts and figures, the heart part with a clear, concise, and compelling story, and the gut part in doing our introductions and making it clear that there were constituents in the room. And of course we got that ask in and even got a commitment in the form of a person to follow up with in a specified period of time. We hope we were able to get you ready for your meeting with your legislator. Just remember to take some time to prepare and specify some roles for the people in the meeting. We're confident that if you do that, and remember that you and your story have the power to change the world, that you'll do great. And you might even have some fun. So thanks so much for being involved in the legislative process. It makes all the difference that you're involved. When we stand together as a community, nobody can stop us. Good luck. And you know who's here? I'm Moss with the largest contingent outside of New York City is the great city of Rochester. Binghamton is here. Utica's in the house, yes? Gay and lesbian people need the same protections as every other family. You